Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nick and today we're going to be doing some chemistry and we're going to look at ionic bonding, which results in a polar molecule. Now in the last lesson we looked at polar molecules where there was a covalent bond, meaning that the electronegativity between the two atoms was less than 1.7 but greater than 0.4. Now we're going to look at two elements which have a much larger electronegativity difference and therefore we get this ionic bond. So let's look at one element on the far side of the table, chlorine, which has an electronegativity difference of three and we will look at sodium and now we're looking at sodium and NaCl we know is salt. And this has an electronegativity sodium of 0 0.9. And so when we look at the electronegativity difference, change in E, we get 3 minus 0 0.9, which is 2.1. And if all they wanted to know was, was it covalent, uh, polar covalent or ionic, you'd have your answer. You can check. It's 2.1, so it's greater than 1.7, so it's an ionic bond. But let's now go into a little bit deeper into finding out why it's ionic and why it's polar. Well, when we dissolve NaCl in water, it's the NaCl splits up into its ions and we have the Na plus and Cl minus. Now remember, if you watch the first video on the periodic table, we saw that this row one Column one was plus one, plus two, column two. And then on the other side, we had minus one and minus two. If you don't remember that, I'm gonna put a link in the video right now to that first periodic table lesson, where you can look at why these columns are plus one, plus two, and minus two, minus one. So if we look at the NaCl molecule, the bond between these ions, we have a plus on the Na. So we can think of that as having, and you will see the symbol, a plus. And on the chlorine, it's a negative. And so this is why we have this positive and negative, and that's why we call it a polar molecule. And if we remember the, uh, explanation that I gave before of a magnet which has a plus and a minus end. Plus and minus. We can see that a molecule like this also has, much like a magnet, a plus and a minus. Now let's look at the electrons of sodium. So sodium has one valence electron. We see that there. And chlorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we see this ionic bond with the electrons. Now, sodium wants to, because it's got one electron, it's got a low electronegativity. It wants to more likely give up that electron to become more like neon, which is uh, a noble gas. Remember that all elements, we say, aspire to be the noble. They aspire to be a noble gas. So Na wants to lose that electron, so it gives it to chlorine. Now, chlorine all it needs to do is get one electron to be like argon gas. And so it's going to take that sodium electron gladly. And so we have this relationship where they complete one another. It's quite a beautiful thing. Uh, and that's it. So that's ionic bonding. Um, these have all been intramolecular bonds, meaning bonding between molecules. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about inter, inter, international bonds between molecules. So that's what's coming up. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, uh, please find the subscribe button down below and click it. 
and like and share with your friends and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next lesson.